Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today, I want to share with you a quick pixel hack that you can use to boost your results with Facebook ads. I've seen CTRs go from under 1% to 3% just by getting a new pixel and by targeting better audiences in the initial testing phase. So this is definitely not something that you should overlook if you're consistently getting bad results with Facebook ads. The actual principle behind this is very simple. If you've been running Facebook ads, you've probably heard about the term learning phase. The learning phase is a period of boosted distribution during which Facebook will run your ad for a lower cost to try and find you your perfect audience. This means that during the learning phase, Facebook is favoring you over your competitors to try and find your winning audience faster and then hone in on that. The learning phase doesn't last very long because after the learning phase is done, Facebook will start normal distribution and your CPM will typically go up a bit. What this little trick is supposed to do is to reset the learning phase often to make sure that you spend longer periods of time in the learning phase giving you cheaper CPMs. But that is not the only advantage. Getting unlucky during the learning phase might mean that your pixel will perform suboptimally compared to what it could do if it went through a good learning phase. And that is the second reason why this trick can be very helpful. If your targeting during your early stages of testing wasn't very good and you ran your learning phase through an audience that was not that good, you essentially formatted your pixel to go and look for your ideal customer in somewhere that is not optimal for you. And after the learning phase is done, your pixel is going to be locked into an audience that is not ideal. So this trick will also restart your pixels learning phase, giving you the opportunity to get a better audience at start and then educating your pixel to find a better audience in the future. What we're actually doing with this trick is rather simple what we're doing is we're resetting the pixel we're creating a new pixel and we're giving our campaigns a new pixel every now and again to be able to reset the learning phase stay in the learning phase for longer and also give us another chance to make sure that our initial testing audience is the best that it possibly can be to educate our pixel to look for a better audience in the future so let's get into the computer and i'll show you how to do it it's very simple so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go into your Shopify admin and you want to go to your Facebook sales channel. Your Facebook sales channel should be installed if you're running Facebook ads before. What we're going to do now is we're going to disconnect our pixel so we can create and connect a new one and run a new campaign with the new pixel, which of course is going to be in the learning phase. So if you log into your Shopify admin, you want to go to the Facebook sales channel here and then you want to go to data sharing settings. When you're in data sharing settings, you want to scroll down to your pixel and you want to click this button to disconnect your pixel. Once your pixel is disconnected, it's time to head over to your business manager and create a new one. You can do a new pixel through the Shopify sales channel, but I usually prefer to do it manually. So I'll show you exactly how to do that. When you're in your business manager, you want to head over to data sources and then pixels on the left hand side of your menu. The next thing that you want to do is you want to click add and you want to connect website activity using a pixel. So we're going to connect a new pixel. In here, you want to enter your pixel name. So we're going to do a store pixel, and then you want to enter your URL. So we're going to do getstore.com. And you want to click continue. Now your pixel is created. You want to go and do set up the pixel now. You want to use add code using partner integration, and then you want to select Shopify. Once you're on this screen, what you want to do is you want to go back to your Shopify admin. You want to refresh this screen here and your new pixel should come up in the list as an option. Then you want to go ahead and click connect for the pixel that you just created on your business manager and then head back to the business manager. Once that's done, you can select I've completed setup on Shopify and you're going to verify your connection. So you're going to enter your URL, send some test traffic, click a few buttons just so the pixel can pick up on that activity and confirm that it's working correctly. Once you can see your new pixel on this list here, it means your pixel is ready to go. There is, however, one step that you should do before you start using the pixel. We should click your menu and go to events manager. And once you're in your events manager, you want to click the pixel that you just created. You want to head over to settings and you want to use these parameters here. You want to use automatic advanced matching. You want to turn on all of these. And then you also want to turn on track events automatically without code. This is going to help Facebook track your events with a little bit better accuracy. And then you also want to go on overview. You want to click continue pixel setup. You want to select the conversions API 
partner integration, and then Shopify. Once you're done with that, you need to set up your events. So go to aggregated events measurement here on the overview screen, and then select your domain, whatever store domain you're using, and then set up your events by order of priority. So purchase, add payment info, issue checkout, add to cart, view content, and search if you're using searches. Once all of that's done, you have your new pixel ready to be used. So you can then head over to the ads manager here. And once you're in the ads manager, you're inside of your campaign, you can click your ad set, and this is where you want to go. You're going to click this box here and you're going to select your new pixel. So your new pixel is going to be ready to go. And that's all you need for this quick pixel trick that is going to give you a lot better distribution and allows you to fix a bad initial learning phase. If you've done all of this and you have your new pixel ready to go and you're wondering what the best testing strategy is to make the most of your learning phase, click this video right here to learn exactly how I set up my testing strategies.